I'm Katja with Creators Image Studio. This is my country garden keepsake album, The Lux, and I am doing a show and tell for you today. And this is one of my, let's say, um, gatefold or double spined albums. I have made some other ones before. I will put the links to those in the description box. And let's do a quick turn around here. Look. The paper that I used is Bow Bunny's Country Garden and it's a gorgeous, gorgeous like summer garden with lots of butterflies paper. And I have used the 12 by 12 inch collection, which I am now out of, but I can show you the 6 by 6 inch uh, pad, which will give you an impression of the atmosphere of this gorgeous paper line. Right, let's open it up. It's a magnet closure and this is its insides. We start off with one of the large, large deep pockets here and these are double hinged. So there's lots and lots of room for photos and there's a magnetized closure. And then here I created a pocket with a punched border and three little tags. Let me show you those. Here's one with a piece of bling. Here is one of the photos that the person who commissioned this album sent me to uh, incorporate into this album. So this is one of her dogs. And I did some glitter glue here in pink for some embellishment. And here is one with a butterfly sticker. This is a 3D dimensional with acrylic wings very cute and I inked around all of the edges here with Tim Holtz's frayed burlap okay next page here again one of the photos of the person who commissioned this uh, she had already photo edited this photo uh, so as to give it a sort of a, a drawn effect as if it was hand drawn uh, so she did that I printed it and then here I added a flower with a bread and here is some room for journaling. Then here and I used the design of my flora and fauna uh, keepsake album for this one. So here one of her dogs again, very large photograph that I added. And this is one of the button stickers, sort of the typewriter key stickers of the Flora and Fauna collection. This is the only one that I had left, so I, I incorporated that here. And then here on the side, two tags matching the page. I used one of Tim Holtz's On the Edge dies for those. Oh, and let me show you the matching colors here on these two uh, tags, matching this next page. Again, one of the photographs that she sent me, she gave it a vintage effect by photo editing and I printed it and used it in this album. Added some flowers again with some brads here in the middle and then uh, added some of the uh, three-dimensional stickers of the flora and fauna collection that I still had left from my previous album. I thought that matched the atmosphere here pretty well. And then here I created a slit pocket and added a tag to that. Now this tag I embossed. So kept it plain but added a nice floral embossing pattern and then added one of the uh, breads from the Country Garden collection, so matching this design paper collection. Gorgeous, right? Here again a little journaling spot, added some breads from the collection. And here is one of my uh, flip tag assemblies, so you can flip it open, add some pictures here. Here is a journaling spot and then here, just for fun, I added a tiny tag booklet. Just kept it plain with a gorgeous little butterfly here. And this is a magnet closure as well with a ribbon pull. Now on top here, again, one of the larger tags. 
a giant photo mat as it were. Kept it plain on the other side so you can do some journaling or add some extra photos. And here is one of the three-dimensional flora and fauna stickers. And I thought the little bird's egg here matched pretty well with those birds here. And then here, again, a huge photo mat. Still in this same page assembly. Gorgeous, right? This one matches the other page, by the way. Look, very orangey. Gorgeous, gorgeous paper line. So let's look at this. There is a room for a photo, but on the other hand, this flower pattern here is also very gorgeous in and of itself. So maybe just leave it there. And then here I added sort of a tag doorlet or even a card. And this is simply one of the double paged sheets. So no cardstock involved at all. And so I had to find a way how to add the ribbon to this side here because normally with the cardstock you could cover it up but now I had to find another way so here I just uh, tied a, a bow and then here left a piece of ribbon to tie yet another bow to tie it closed and another one of the 3D acrylic winged butterflies very cute very very gorgeous page uh, one of my favorite layouts actually each and every one of the mini albums has a page assembly that is the favorite of its creator i've seen this in other people's uh, videos as well and this goes for me as well so this is my favorite uh, layout in this album now there's a pocket here added a flower to it with a brad from the uh, country garden collection and i added this die cut border and this is tim holtz's butter flight on the edge die gorgeous gorgeous die in my opinion and i embossed it with the same floral embossing pattern that i showed you on the tag just a couple of pages back now added a tag here a gorgeous tag because of the paper and i added a bread to that as well matching perfectly so very gorgeous. Now meanwhile I created another tag. I forgot to add it here but here it is. This is a bookmark. I add a little bow here and this is the back. This is a scrap mat actually and I added some uh, distress stickles here by Tim Holtz. Now let me show you how cute this is when you actually use it as a bookmark. So let me take a book here, put it in and look. <laughs> Isn't that cute? I really love it. So it's great, right? Now, of course, also one of the larger photo mats here on top. And I chose the matching orange paper. And I added one of the flora and fauna three-dimensional stickers. I still had some left, as you can see. And they match this paper line as well. And this is the flora and fauna by K and Company. It's an older paper collection, so I don't think you can still get those in the shops, but uh, I had some left over in my stash. And these three tags here all contain some pictures that the person who commissioned the elm sent me. Again, she had done some uh, photo editing, so made it look like this was drawn by pencil. So she gave it the effect that you see here. And she did the same for this picture here, but then in color. So I just uh, printed them and uh, fit them to size to these uh, tags here. So great effect, right? And these are, of course, for the next page here. These colors here, see? So I always make sure that the tags fit the side of the layouts that they belong to, so here and then like so. Now there's another photo that I'm going to add to this page. This is the photo that I'm talking about. Um, again one of the dogs she sent me and then I added some distress stickles by Tim Holtz. Here's a flip tag assembly. I added a flower that I found in my stash 
and we want the bread here and then you can open it like this and again like that. Now what you see here is one of the wings of the butterfly here. So this is a very very subtle butterfly here in this paper and I thought I'd um, save its wing here so I cut it out, glued it down and now you can tuck a photo behind it. Now there is a magnet closure here between those first two and I didn't think it necessary here because it just closes. This page here looks a bit like an envelope or even a sort of a briefcase-like design. I used one of my swivel closures that I learned by watching the videos of the lady calling herself so much scrap. Flip this open and then pull out the large photo mat, which I left plain. Now what I also did when I punched out these, these openings here, I glued down the other half of the circle so the pattern stays intact. It's a little trick that I did here. Look, see, and here's the other side. So just a little trick. And this is one of the brads of the collection and it has the same circle design that is in the paper. So gorgeous match. Now let's go to the final mini album page. There is sort of a booklet or gatefold tag piece here. Look, very, very cute. There's a tag here. Left the other side playing. Put a piece of bling here. And then here's a ribbon that you can tuck another tag behind. So this is a small double-sided piece of paper that I just created a little tag booklet from. Cute, huh? And as you can see, there is no photo mat on the top. And that's because I made a mistake. As you know, I do make mistakes and I make lots of them. <laughs> and I also ch challenge myself to uh, incorporate them and find solutions uh, that don't demand me tearing up everything I created. Now this is not even the first time that I made that mistake. I did the same thing in my Flora and Fauna keepsake album. So how, how silly can one be, right? But I actually repeated that mistake. Silly, silly me. And here you can see what I mean and how I fixed it in that other one. Now in this one I decided to go another direction. Well, sort of the same but different. I still kept the pocket uh, on the bottom side here, but I did not create one of the flaps. I simply punched out half a circle and then I just put the photo mat inside, counting on the tension in the paper to just grab it so that it would not fall out. And I was right, so let me show you. See? There we go. Just put it in and it stays inside. I did add some paper glaze to this particular butterfly here just to add some embellishment, a subtle effect because this butterfly is the one you actually see when it's inside uh, its page. So let me show you. See, so this piece here has some paper glaze effect now. And it will just simply stay inside. See, there's no room for wiggling or whatever because of all the bulk in this paper and the other tag that's inside, it just, just holds it. And here is a pocket assembly and it, I added some tags here. And here is one of the acrylic winged uh, butterfly stickers again. So let me pull out the tags. So here's two smaller ones. This is one of the butterfly on the edge die. I used the other ones in a tag card actually. There's another video on that one, and I will put the link uh, in the description box. I added some glitter glue here on its wing tips. It's embossed, and this is a bit of black glitter glue. This is just a simple one, and here you can see my handmade charm. It's hanging from a piece of gold colored chain that I fixed to the paper pockets with some flower breads. Now here is another tag with a scrap mat. Added some flowers here 
and there's still room to, uh, to add a photo because you can flip this up and tuck your photo behind it. And then last but not least, a large one, also a scrap mat, added a little rose. You could even use this as a bookmark if you have a very large novel that you're reading. And then the inside of the cover page here, there's a little pocket with a punched border, my name and website, and a little tag booklet. And I added some diamond glitter glue here on its wingtips. Flip it open and then there's yet another picture of the dog. And here is a quote that I found on the internet, who loves me, loves my dog. So I printed that, well I, I put it on background of the paper collection. So this is actually a picture I downloaded from the internet. It has the assembled collection here, it's the entire country garden collection. Put my text on top of that. I use PowerPoint, by the way, by, for those kinds of, uh, of things. And then I just printed it and fit it a size. So it's a gorgeous effect, right? And I created a sort of a vintage effect here. So that was the album. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or remarks, let me know. Use the comment section on YouTube or on my blog. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.